In John, Jesus says this, 17, verse 26. I have made known to them thy name. Now, name in the Bible doesn't mean like Chris or, or even Jesus. It means nature. A uh, person was often called by their nature. I have made known to them thy name, and I will make it known that the love which with thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. The nature of Jesus was love. And the nature of us this holiday season has to be love too. No matter what gifts we give, we have to give love and that is the most important gift of all. That is what will be remembered. You know, I often say that people don't love you. They love the way they feel when they're with you. God's peace-giving love wells up from the depths of your being and seeks expression through you. You are relaxed and you are peaceful this Christmas, for the love of God fills your mind and your heart. It only takes a moment to relax and let God's peace-giving love permeate your mind and your entire body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You can do this anywhere at any time you choose, even in a long line at Kmart or Walmart, when you're relaxed and you are filled with God's love, a mighty activity of blessing is set in motion in and through you. Healing surges in the energy throughout your entire being. Divine love shines forth from you to bless all that come in contact with you, your friends, and your family. And this blessing reaches out to the people that you meet in this line at Walmart or Kmart. You meet on the street, at work, or you talk to in a casual conversation, or even think about. Divine love radiates from you as the ultimate Christmas gift to bless your world. The more love flows through you, the more love comes forth to fill you. And you feel a warmth and a comfort and a calm of this love. You're a contributor at this point to God's will and destiny of peace-giving love to the world. I wish you and your family a very, very Merry Christmas. May God bless you.